our current world have a lot of problems and we humans are actively trying to find solutions to those problems and one of the current problems which i see in the world right now we are not planting enough trees and i usually get very excited when i see a potential solution which can change the whole world and in this video we are going to talk about liquid tree it's not very new it has been in news from past couple of months uh, i'll say half a year now and i wanted to explore this topic in my video as well so let's begin so there was some data posted around the usa but this can be applied to all over the world so between 2009 to 2014 usa lost 36 million trees and if you think about it it is a like a lot of trees. humans mind are not designed to picture big numbers and i personally cannot picture 36 million trees it's like a huge number 36 million is a huge number and when then it was looked at how much benefit it could have provided it roughly equates to 96 million dollars in benefits such as energy uses air quality and less carbon emission now if you look around enough we will find enough studies around different cities in the world where the number of trees has gone down there have been loads of efforts to plant trees and i have seen a lot of people trying to plant more trees and it is wonderful like i actually have so much hope that people are changing in future they understand our environment a bit more they understand what we are doing to the earth and obviously the solution is just not to stop all the things we are currently doing and just you know just let nature take over everything we should develop as a society where we can leverage everything we have from the nature and give uh, back to the nature as well but if you look at the current situation it is very hard to plant trees in cities like where is the space where are you going to plant a tree? Tree take up a lot of space and with that comes a lot of maintenance of the tree. Not just from the one single person who has planted the tree but from everyone involved whether you are walking near the tree or if you are taking care of the tree as a part of your city council but there is just not enough space like that's the whole issue. There are so many benefits we can get from trees. It helps reducing the heat, uh, it provides shade, it helps stop flooding, it helps stop erosion but again there's no space. Cities are filled with skyscrapers, uh, road, footpaths, you know, parking lot. So now you can see the problem like, okay, we want to plant trees, but where we can plant trees? One solution is, okay, maybe you can plant it on top of the roof. But like, again, you can't plant trees on top of roof because the roots will go and then it will kind of destroy the infrastructure. Obviously, it will be just from the top of the building. But at the same time, you get my point. Now, there have been many solutions, but in this video, uh, I wanted to talk about a particular solution, which is developed by Dr. Ivans and his team from Serbia. Now, Serbia is one of the most polluted countries in Europe. It's not the world's most polluted country, but it's one of the most polluted countries in the Europe, and they needed to do something about it. So the idea basically is taking some microalgae, putting it in a water tank and use it as a bench. Maybe you can use it as a charging dock. Maybe you can put a Wi-Fi in there. Maybe you can use it as an ad advertising billboard as well. But you get a rough idea. If we plant one 600 liter tank, it can replace two 10 year old trees. So the amount of carbon dioxide taken out by a tree in a year is 150 kg. But at the same time, a car produce roughly the same amount of carbon just from one full tank of fuel so we need a lot of trees either we can remove some infrastructure from the cities and plant a lot of trees which will remove a lot of carbon from the environment or we can use this algae to you know just take care of that process for us and it won't take up a lot of space it can be used as a bench it can be used as i told you earlier as a charging station you can put wi-fi in there you can have like advertisement on one side you can put a solar roof on top of it and then it will automatically run so it's using renewable energy and it can provide other benefits to the people around as well so basically algae are one of the oldest organism in the world so most of our oxygen which we have today has been produced by algae in the oceans now this is very basic biology the process of photosynthesis which happens in plant is they take carbon dioxide uh, from our environment and use water plus sunlight to produce oxygen and to produce glucose for the energy and produce biomass from the carbon. Now this whole same process is done by the algae as well. Now when the carbon is accumulated in the tree it produces the tree trunk so you know how the trunk of the tree grows thicker it is because of all the carbon it has taken from the environment and then it just grows. So with the algae, what we're going to do with the biomass left from the algae. Now, there has been a lot of exciting research around this topic. Now, the biomass left from the algae can be used as a food. It has loads of benefits. It can be added to increase the nutrition value of the food. And it can also be used as a biofuel. Now, we have so much to look forward to. Uh, most of the time, it's very hard to change people. 
when I was going through this topic, I saw a lot of comments regarding, oh, it can never replace tree, it can never replace tree. But we have to understand that we are not replacing trees. We already have like subway stations, metro stations. We have like very tall buildings. We have like, you understand a big basic city, right? There is just no space. And if we can use this technology to put it in the place where we already have some space, which is just there, for example, bench, for example, bus stop, for example, malls, like there are limitless place which i can think where it can fit imagine you're walking down and then you just see on the night like it's a glowing green thing and it just produces oxygen it looks nice it provides an aesthetic as well like i'll be honest it does look nice like the design is very aesthetically pleasing you can say you can never replace tree again trust me like i want trees if there's a possibility you can plant tree plant tree you can never replace tree but again when there's no other option where things have already been done this can be a great great substitute for a tree you have to plant a tree it takes nearly 10 to 20 years for a tree to you know grow fully this is instant like we need to move now because the climate change is happening now like we have to do something we can't just plant trees and just sit like if we can do more we should do more and i'm not saying like just Take for example like you have planted 10 15 trees i'm not asking you to invest more time i'm not asking you to you know go and invest money and then uh plant these uh, liquid trees around the cities that's not your job but if i think more people are aware about this technology if this technology is pushed more and there can be more research done on this from different people around the world i think they can adapt it into their uh, country their uh, city they can design it in a way which is more efficient for their cities and now here i'm leaving a lot of terms because algae are just not like one animals there are thousands of species there's micro algae macro algae it's like a very uh, detailed topic but we don't need to dive deep into that all we humans have to do is just push the right thing forward so more people are aware about it and if more people are aware about certain things i think that get pushed into the world and i think if something is good for humanity i think we should push it as much as we can now in the uk there was a report that a good quality air can uh, save nhs nearly two billion pound that is a lot of money like i understand this much money might be needed to plant these things in different cities but i think it's still better like you suffering and then you paying for your healthcare is not better than spending money and preventing things which should have not happened in the first place if i'm making sense but i think like i'm just very excited about our future like if if i have enough money like if i do become successful youtuber and if i start getting more money i am gonna try my best to implement good changes in the society i'm from india and new delhi has one of the worst air qualities i want to change that it is not our fault as indian but it is just what the world's circumstances is right now because of all the world politics because of all the world diplomacy and all the things which is involved in an economy and how an economy works it is just the fault of how our society is run and obviously that is a very broader topic in itself so this was it for the whole video hopefully you might have learned something new if you knew about this technology you can share down your ideas like how it can be implemented in different places because if you share those ideas in comment section i think other people will read it and then they might just like get some idea regarding how they can implement it and i'm pretty sure like if it not this video but like in general all the videos like all the good videos if it reaches enough people i think it does good in society uh, i think people get ideas people get creative ideas to how to improve things and this is what i want to make this whole channel about i want to share people's ideas creative ideas so we can make the world a better place now i personally believe like everyone is creative and this is just how our society has made us because of the education system and how we were forced to study things which we were never interested in just because it was one fit for all model and then just everyone just like co without questioning it just like keeps following it because some people at the top decided that this is best for everyone but like it's not and i hope this will change in future as well and i'm very excited about like how ai can be used to personalize learning and how it can enhance a child's education and make him a better person and i have made a video about how ai is going to change our education system so if you're interested in that topic that video will be on your screen like right now you can click on it you can go that one and watch it uh, also let me know in the comment section if there's any improvement i can make in my videos and that was all uh, i'll see you in the next one goodbye